हेलो किड्स वेलकम टू योर जीके क्लास टुडे फ्रॉम आर बुक जीके प्लैनेट वी विल रीड लेसन ट्वेंटी टू हेल्पफुल एनिमल्स ऑन पेज नंबर थर्टी फाइव द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ टुडेज क्लास इज टू डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट हेल्पफुल एनिमल्स एंड देर यूजेस टू अस सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट देम वी कैन सी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स अराउंड अस Some animals are big while some are small. Some of them lives in forests while others live in houses or farms. Just like us, they also need food, water and shelter for their survival. They are of different shapes, sizes and nature and are very helpful to us. There are three types of animals. Number one, wild animals means animals that live in the forest. For example, elephant, giraffe. Number two, pet animals means animals that are kept at home. For example, cat, dog. Number three, domestic animals or farm animals means animals that are useful to us. For example, horse, pig. We can also call them helpful animal. Now, before starting with the reading, let's discuss some difficult words. Number one, mountain, a very high hill. Number two, trekking, a journey on foot through the mountains. Number three, guide, a person who shows the way to others. Number four, warm means hot, yummy, tasty, travel to go from one place to another, company to stay. Now let's start with the reading. My father and I went for mountain trekking in the Andes in South America. We were very hungry, so the guide gave us cheese made from the milk of llamas. Llama is a local animal of Andes that looks like a small camel. Different animals help us to do different things. So the child here is discussing his experience that one day when he and his father went for mountain trekking in the Andes they were feeling very hungry so the guide gave them cheese made from the milk of llama it is a very famous animal of south america it is a domestic animal used by the people of andes mountain It looks like a small camel. It eats grass and need little water. It is very helpful to us. It is used to carry heavy loads over the mountains. Leather is made from their hides and their wool is crafted into ropes, rugs and fabrics. Just like llama, there are many other helpful animals. So let's talk about them. First we will talk about cow. Cow can be both a pet and a domestic animal. It has four legs, two horns and one big tail. All cows basically possesses one of the three basic colors black, red or white. It lives in a shed. In India, we worship cow as a mother. Cow is helpful to us in many different ways. Number 1, it gives a tasty milk and is a good source of calcium and proteins we can make curd ghee cheese and many other things from milk we should drink milk every day number 2 it is used to carry our goods number 3 it is used in agricultural land also next we will talk about pig it is a domestic animal A pig has short neck with long and pointed head. The eyes of a pig are small and ears are long. A pig has a curly tail and short legs. Each foot of a pig has four toes. It lives in a sty. They are helpful to us in many different ways. Number 1, we get meat, flesh and skin from pigs. Number 2, they are used for pulling the carts. Number 3 they are used for sniffing the land mines and number 4 they are also used for medical researches next we will talk about horse a horse is both a pet and a domestic animal it has four strong legs and a long tail the 
three basic hair colors of horses are red, white and black. It lives in a shed. It runs very fast. It is helpful to us in many different ways. Number one, it is used to carry heavy loads over long distances. Number two, it is used as a pulling cart. Number three, it is also used for plowing of farmers' fields. Next, we will talk about chicken. It is a domestic animal. It can be black, brown or white in color. It lives in a coop. It has a strong beak and a red comb on its head. It is useful to us in many different ways. Number one, it is reared for eggs. Number two, it also gives us meat. Its meat is called chicken. Next, we will talk about dog. It is a pet and domestic animal. It is known as man's best friend. It has four legs and a tail. It runs very fast. It barks. It lives in a kennel. It guards our house and accompanies us. Next, we will talk about pigeon. It is both a pet and a domestic animal. Domestic pigeons are kept at poultry farms. They have a small beak, short neck, two feet and two wings. They are helpful to us in many different ways. Number one, they are reared for meat. Number two, some people keep them for racing, flying or for show. Next, we will talk about sheep. It is a domestic animal. It has a coat of wool and four legs. Each leg has two toes. It lives in a pen. It is helpful to us in many different ways. Number one, it gives us wool which is very soft and long. Clothes made from its wool keep us warm. Number two, we also get leather from them. Number three, sheep also give us milk and the milk is used for making cheese, yogurt, etc. As we have discussed about different helpful animals, now let's start with our exercise part. Write the names of the helpful animals using the help box. In this exercise, you have to identify the name of these helpful animals using the help box and write them in front of the pictures. Now let's read the help box first. Option A is sheep, B horse, C cow, D dog and E chicken. Now let's read the exercise. Come to number one. We get tasty milk from this animal. Number two, we keep warm with clothes made from this animal's wool. Number three, we get yummy eggs from this bird. Number four, this animal helps us to travel from one place to another. Number five, this animal guards our houses and gives us company. As we have discussed this chapter, now do this exercise yourself and revise this chapter thoroughly. Also do the worksheet we send in SNAP homework. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.